Hi, Larry Stewart here with BoardConstructionPros.com. It's ConExpo 2020. I want you to meet uh, Sam Meeker, who is the dozer guy for Caterpillar, product specialist uh, for, for Caterpillar. We're standing in front of a high drive D7. Yeah, super excited to be bringing this to ConExpo and showing everybody our brand new high drive D7. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet, I'll bet. The, so the, the high drive is the, is the most obvious uh, um, feature on this machine from, from the outside. Tell us uh, about this decision and about uh, other features on the machine. Yep, yep. So we uh, obviously we've had the D7E for uh, oh, 10 or 11 years now um, mm -hmm. and it's been a great machine for us. Uh, it's been really, I mean, in terms of the electric drive system, uh, been, been amazing. Uh, but one thing customers have continuously told us is, is that bring that bring that high drive D7 back. Mm. So we're excited to be bringing this tractor back as a high drive, uh, the, the D7 size of dozer. So it's not uh, it's not your your dad's D7R that we put a new cab and a big engine in. No, it's a, it's a brand new machine here. So in terms of what we've done to this tractor, obviously we bring back the high drive in it. So uh, the same type of value that we get out of high drive. We, you know, limit the amount of impact that we have because we're pulling this sprocket up out of the dirt. It's keeping it cleaner, uh, you know, reducing any of the wrapping and that type of, type of stuff that you would normally get on final drive. So getting that up and getting it out of those uh, those shock loads, right? So it's not going to be banging on the ground all the time. All of that really helps to improve the ride of this tractor too because we've got a roller frame. It's got a pivot shaft, obviously. It's suspended. It's going to allow that roller frame to pivot and move over those ground objects and just make a, bit, you know, a lot smoother ride for the customer. So. Some other things that, that High Drive does for us uh, is it allows us really to place that roller frame kind of where we want to in terms of balance on a machine. Mm. So we take a look at a tractor like a D5 or a D6, you want to be able to do some finish grading with that tractor. And so you want a little bit more tail, tail weight, right? You don't want it to necessarily be all on the nose, but when you get into a D7 or a D8 size, you got to get that blade in the ground, hard materials, you got to load it up quick and being able to slide that roller frame so that we can get more blade penetration and more weight on the front end really helps us to improve productivity on this tractor. What else, what kind of technology features do you see on the machine? So the, the D7E uh, didn't have as much technology from the factory as what we like to have. And so we definitely corrected that with the D7, uh, the new, you know, next gen D7 dozer. Um, so full range of technology, just like we've got on the D5 and the D6, all the way from slope indicate, stable blade, uh, slope assist, our basic two dimensional system. Cat grade with 3D, our full 3D integrated system, either installed at the dealer or at the factory, either one. Uh, you know, because that, that ARO kit, you know, the attachment ready option that we put on these guys, um, gonna be standard on this size of tractor in North America. So all tractors are gonna have slope assist and ARO together. And so that ARO kit in there allows you to put those grade control systems on uh, at any point in time that you want to later on. Remote control, right? We we want to, you know, here we are at Con Expo, and, and in our demo, we've got uh, we've got our D6 out here, D6 XE in the demo, and we're going to be showing off remote control. Um, so the D7 will be the first tractor that's available with the the new remote control on the next gen cap. All right. Okay. So uh, next year it'll also be on the D5 and the D6 as well too. But command on D5. And yeah, D5. command on D5, D6, oh, D7 wow. uh, on the next gen, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, the, uh, the remote control module that we put on the cab is a brand new module. It's got new cameras, got some new radios in there. So a lot of new software and hardware in there. Cabs will be remote control ready. So you put the command module on the cab mm -hmm. and then you can go ahead and connect that up to either an over the shoulder console uh, or the station where you're sitting in, you know, kind of sitting in that seat with the cameras and the monitors around you. So either way a customer wants to run that tractor in terms of remote control. Yeah, that's really going to take uh, command kind of mainstream, bringing it down to the D5, D6 size. Yeah, it certainly will. And we get we get phone calls about, you know, customers want that. You know, they, they get into a situation where maybe it's a little too risky and they don't want to put an operator in that tractor if they're, mm -hmm. you know, maybe on a sensitive high wall or uh, in an area where, uh, you know, maybe where they, maybe it's a little muddy or a little wet out there and they've lost a tractor or two and they don't want to have that operator in there. They can pop that command kit on there um, and, and get that operator out of harm's way so they can safely do the work. And then, of course, when they want to, they can always pull that command back off and put that guy back in the cab and right. back to uh, back to his full operation. Yeah, all right. Well, Sam, thanks so much. I yeah. really appreciate it. Best of Thank luck with you. it. When your dealer services your cat, they know it's about keeping a lot more than a machine working. Let's do the work.